he has stepped up. He's a plus six. He has been killing penalties and been moved from the left side to the right side with Zadora. He has really shown a lot to a lot of people. And he gets the puck off the open. He's not going to probably play those 23, 4, 5 minutes that he would play in his prime. But still, you've got to watch him because he can control a game. Here comes Raquel in. Tries to center it. Shot. Score! Right off the bat, the Ducks have taken a 1-0 lead. And it's Adam Henrique, who was not picked up coming into the zone. He's able to score it through traffic. A young, very excitable. You're going to see right over there, you're going to see Enrique walk in. Nobody picks him up. Nobody picked him up. He walked in. Everybody's puck watching right there. And Henrique, of course, it came over from the New Jersey Devils. And he is, he's one of those guys that they need. Hammered off on the back check. Good play on the recovery there by the Ducks. Brought back the other way. Out in front. Score! Carter Rowdy with a redirect. Francois is run over. And the Anaheim Ducks have taken a 2-0 lead here at Pepsi Center. Yes, they are now finding themselves down 2-0 in this building where they have won the first four games. Abs with a draw. Gerard finds McKinnon. Top unit back out. Rick wide. Copper is in. Shoots gloves. Saved by Miller. At the body in front. Wrapped up and not out. Kept alive. Borikovsky. Love to see him come alive. Here's Don score. Off of Miller, and he scores! He caught Ryan Miller looking the wrong way. Oh, he took a peek. He took a peek. Off his back it goes. And for Giannis Donskoy, it's a power play goal. Abs get within one. Donskoy just... Yeah, that hit. Stick. Oh, you're right, it did beat. And then bounces in behind. I couldn't have been more wrong. I thought he took a peek and threw off his back, but it did hit his stick. Yeah, he reaches across. Now Miller throws his stick right there and it just... You know, that reminds me of the Tarasenko in St. Louis. At the half boards, gets left. Up top, Lindholm walks the line. He gets left, walking in. Shoots, score. It was deflected off of something. Got up over Francois and his right arm and the Ducks with a power play goal. I've gotten it back. It's now a 3-1 game. For just hit Fran... Did it just hit Francois' pad and bounce up? Or hit somebody else's stick on the way through? But either way, Francois allows three goals against in the first time in his three starts for the Avalanche. I look that like it might have gone off Grave Gra Stick. Yeah, Grave yeah. Stick and then up and over. Situation. He's got it. This McCarr finds McKinnon if he didn't run it by Holzer. Free direct save. Another save by Miller. Two point blank saves as Landeskog. It's a deep. All the way up top. He's still got it. Peels and gives it off to McKinnon. Quick shot. Saved by Miller. Rebound. Backhand opportunity. Score. Nathan McKinnon. It's a power play goal. By McCarr's rush. McKinnon stays with it. Good job right there. Copper will get an assist. But that's the kind of play you needed right there. Big play by McCarr. Antoine, it gets locked. Loves captain. Feeds it off. Here comes Cooley to the circle. Down low. Puck is loose. Score. Max Comtois with the tally. His second. And Anaheim goes on top. 4-2 in a goal mouth scramble. Max Gordon at the coaches to see what they're looking at. Because the goal is fine. There's not going to be goaltender interference. Nope. The avalanche of obvious. Here's Don Scoy. That one gets through McKinnon and out. Silverberg in pursuit. Takes it. Looks. Cold shoots and scores. So the Ducks sold it away. They're on top 5-2 with 2.13 left. They came out early and they played well. I thought when the Avalanche made it 3-2, just the way that they had done it, that it was going to be, okay, here they go. They're going to be simple that we showed that we're just, he, he just, he was so big, he just reached and grabbed very comfortably. Ducks emerge with the two points here tonight at Pepsi Center.